What's up everybody, it's Mr. You Know Who. And today guys, I'm bringing you my second video for brute force save data and how I reassign saves that are not mine. So let's get into the video. As far as reassigning saves is concerned on Windows 10, I run this as admin, hit yes. The cheat repository is gonna pop up, I did this already, hit X. Now, I'm going to hit the three little dots here to go to the save that I want to reassign that is not my save. So it's right here. Hit OK. Hit Refresh. OK, that's the save right there. Now, let me point this out real quick. This save right here is the region that I'm playing my game on. If you have a save, right, and you need to know the region of the game you are playing, you need to get a copy of the save first from the PlayStation 3. Load it onto brute force save data. So you need to load it, like I said, click this, go to your USB flash drive, and it will say something like PlayStation 3 folder, load it from there, and then it'll come up with the save. You need to look for the save and know your game region. Once you can figure that out from the save you actually put onto your USB flash drive, any save that has that number needs to be the same save you downloaded so that it can work on the PlayStation 3 under that region and you can load it onto your profile. I just want to point that out because what happens is some people make the common mistake and they go to the USB flash drive. And I'm going to do it right here. They take the save from here, drag it to here and tell me that the save doesn't work and you loaded the save onto your USB drawer. It's a, always supposed to be a PlayStation 3 folder on your USB flash drive. Inside of that is a save data folder and inside of that, that's where you would drag the save to. If you drag it to the root of your USB, it will never work. So I wanna point that out just so you could do it correctly. If you need to set up these folders, the easiest way to do it is to just get a copy of a save under that profile and copy it to the USB and the folders will be made for you so you're good to go. If you have to do it the manual way, you need to create a folder that says PS3, then another folder inside of the PS3 folder that says save data, all capital letters, then you can put your saves in it and then you can copy it onto the PlayStation 3 and you're good to go. So. I know that was long, but I got to tell you that. Right now, we're going to reassign this save to Craig's. So, highlight the save, rebuild as full. It's letting me know I want to reassign this save to this profile. Yes. As you guys can see, the profile changed to Craig's. This was set to Craig's, Craig's. Verify. Everything is good. I want to highlight the save. Decrypt it, right? Hit yes. Apply the cheats. There is. Hit apply. Okay. Now I'm going to encrypt the save. Hit encrypt. Yes. Highlight the save. Verify. Everything is saying good. I'm going to rebuild again. Full. Yes. It's highlighted. Verify. Everything is saying good. Now at this point, I'm going to minimize this for one second. I'm going to go over to the save that's on my desktop that I just reassigned. Click on it. You're going to see two params in it. Param.sfo, param.sfo underscore original. I'm on the final steps. I'm going to delete this out of the folder. Now, close this down. Go back to brute force. We're gonna load it back into brute force. Now here's the save. Hit OK. Still says crags. Highlight. Verify. Everything says OK. I took out the param dot underscore original. Even though I just said that wrong, you know what I meant to say. And it's out of the save, which is here, and it's just the save as is. Everything says good. I need to copy that save back onto my USB flash drive, which you guys can see here. Here's three. 
save data. I will state this copy in here. And then from there, I take the USB flash drive, I put it in the PlayStation 3, and I copy it to Trex, which I'm going to show you right now. Then start the game if everything is working. So as you guys can see, I'm on OBS, I'm on my PlayStation 3, and what I'm going to do to test the save is copy the save back onto Craig's, and from Craig's, load the save in the game and test out if everything's working. So go to Save Data Utility, go to my flash drive, go to the save, copy it onto Craig's, then from there, I'm going to go in the game and test out the save to make sure it's working. Hit OK. If it copied, that's a good thing. Hopefully, the cheats from Brute Force is working. Let this load. You'll know in one second. Just loading. Good. No error message popped up on the screen saying that this save belongs to another user. Nope, it's starting up. Yep, so you can go to story, continue, and like I said, I just added the cheats to brute force to the save. I'm going to play through this little bit of part. doesn't take long. This is kind of cool. I actually could say that. I haven't played this game in so long. I forgot what the graphics on the PlayStation 3 even looked like. That's crazy. But it was good for its time. I'm not even going to lie to you. I do miss it, but... From time to time, I will come on here just to play the classics because they work fine. And yes, I do have a jailbroken console. I know you guys probably saw that, probably want to ask me questions on that. I will get to that in other videos, so hang tight. But I just want to test the save. So as you guys can see, I'm still tearing them up. No big deal. This is crazy. If this game back in the day was the joint, I ain't gonna lie. But Avatar, definitely like this. I still would recommend this game. Especially for a kid who likes Disney and all that other stuff. This is Nickelodeon or whatever. It's still a good game. Try it out. Damn, I'm tearing these dudes up. And I ain't even trying. I'm just doing it. That's crazy. Almost done. I'm just having fun knocking them out. Yeah, they getting me. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna skip this. Almost done. Skip this. So far, so good to save loaded. And as you guys can see, let's see. Then the money cheat, it worked. So we know already that the save is working. We know the cheats from brute force is working. And that's pretty much, that's all I do for reassigning saves back to my Craig's profile and testing them. That's it. I will get into finding the errors and fixing the errors as far as saves are concerned in the next video. I just want to show you guys how I reassign saves, how I test it, and show you guys everything is working. But if you like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. As always, I thank you guys for watching my video, supporting my channel. And I will get up with you guys in the third video sometime this week on how to fix the errors as far as reassigning your saves. So, peace.